Hey guys, Stable at VGC here, and we're back for week four of the MBC. So we're currently sitting at 3 0, and obviously I'm not here by myself. Fiona, please introduce them to who we're playing. So this week we're playing against Team Jube Life, and they have a team of Jirachi, Mega Blastoise, Porygon Z, Mega Binet, Togodomaru, Hiriyama, Broxish, Alumis, Jolteon, and Masquerain. Yeah, so uh, let's jump into things, I guess. Right? Yeah. It's been a while since we've done this battle. So oh yeah, uh, this, this, this battle was a while ago, so honestly, I have no clue. <laughs> I think this was over a month ago. So we lead Gyarados and uh, Sableye. My beautiful, beautiful Sableye. It's a uh, bad, bad, bad shiny. No, it's not a bad shiny. So so let's settle this debate in the comments not. down below. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Settle this debate in the comments down below. Either use hashtag good shiny or hashtag bad shiny. Hashtag bad shiny. Hashtag good shiny. It's a good shiny! <laughs> so for whatever reason, they laid Masquerine and uh, Jolteon. Yeah. And then they switch right out. And they switch right out into Isubaru, the Hariyama. Which is uh, a little bit weird. Yeah, so we're going to swap uh, Gyarados into 3rd degree Arotom here because, you know, it's anything that you Jolteon... Take a thunderbolt. Yeah, but Jolteon's just going to protect. Why? I don't know. Good question. Um, I guess... I guess we could have been Quash, Mold Breaker, Earthquake. I mean, that could have been pretty cool. Maybe that's, that's what they're... That's kind of stupid. Yeah, I mean... I don't... Minus one. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know why they thought we were going to do that. Or what what <laughs> they thought at that point. So, but Gardevoir coming in for Sableye here. No need to... Uh, Oh, I remember this battle now, Fiona. I don't remember anything. <laughs> oh, I remember. Oh, have a light screen. I remember this battle very, 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 very well. This next turn is going to be interesting. Fiona, does this next turn... Oh, I remember turn, what you're getting to. You know what I'm getting at? <laughs> Fiona, they're going to have... Fiona, they're going to have poison jabbing. Just kill our Gardevoir. I should protect so you can weaken them. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ryan, they won't. They're just going to click Stone Edge again. They're just going to click Stone Edge again. They need to get rid of Rotom. Fiona, I'm pretty sure they're going to go for the Gardevoir. You're going to see the Thunderbolt come out. Hits the Gardevoir. What if we stayed in regular and I got the Volt Absorb? Um, I don't think... I mean, I don't think that matters. Do we even have a Psychic type move on his Gardevoir? <laughs> I don't know. And there's the Poison Jab. Goodbye, Gardevoir. It didn't make sense to me. So because they have light screen up. Yes, but like they need to get rid of Gardevoir. Because <laughs> Gardevoir is what threatens their Hariyama. To them, Rotom's not a threat. But either way, we're bringing in Swampert right now. And they're just gonna continue to protect that uh, Jolteon. They're gonna protect Which it with. Makes the... sense. It makes sense, I guess. But like they're not gaining anything here. Yeah. And we're gonna just click Earthquake because you know we can. Did we run Discharge Earthquake this week? I think we might have done it again. I think we did it again. <laughs> it's such a good combo. Oh, I think we did. We definitely did. To get around Volt Absorb. No, that doesn't redirect. No, but they had a, a Toge tomorrow too, Toge no? Tomorrow, yeah. Or Lightning Rod, that's why. Lightning Rod Toge. So, Intimidate. The best Intimidator in the game. <laughs> You know, it's funny, we're making fun of the thing, but it's kind of actually putting in work with this Intimidates. Not really. And uh, we got a pretty decent nickname right now. We got Wet Bowser coming in. Wet Bowser. Wet Bowser is a blast. You're going to see a struggle bug for whatever reason. To uh, weaken our Rotom. And there's Light Screen as well. Yeah, that's true. Rotom Youth Thunderbolt is going to do absolutely nothing. Actually, it did more than yeah. I thought it would. I mean, Masquerine is trash. <laughs> Agreed. But uh, it's going to hang on there, so never Not know. Surprisingly. We're swapping back into our Intimidator here. we got Gyarados coming in. Yeah, we didn't want to take a water move, which is what we assume they're going to do. I mean, why Why wouldn't they click water? Like, you got to get rid of that Rotom. It's their only answer is to kill Rotom. they got to kill Rotom or they're in trouble. Yeah. But save life coming back in. And they're just going to Mega Evolve here. No surprise there's there. There's no reason not to do that. Literally no surprise. So 
so Struggle Bug's gonna go off, it's gonna do nothing to both of these, because Sable Eye doesn't have moves, and the Gyarados is physical. Yeah, so now we're gonna reveal, okay, we do catch the Water type move, which is good, but goes into Rotom, which is the Swampert. I don't know why you're targeting Swampert. Good news is Sable Eye is fat. <laughs> it doesn't even proc our berry. <laughs> It doesn't proc our berry. But here comes out the Confide from Sableye. Yeah, we were really scared of this blast toy. Yeah, like... Actually, were we? Were we, are we scared of the four guns? We were scared of both of them. <laughs> and here they are both on the field. But thankfully, the Confide, doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Not doing anything. We did. <laughs> Cue the Swampert. All right, so we're gonna mega here, just in case that swamp, uh, just in case that Porygon has uh, Thunderbolt or something. Got to make sure we're surviving. Also, giving us, I think it gives us bulk too, right? When we mega. Yes. Yeah. yeah okay. We gain a ton of bulk. Yeah. I think it stays like one thirty instead of. It's pretty good, and we do see the Thunderbolt, which is pretty solid. So very happy we mega, because that still did a heck of a lot of damage. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna drop a crunch. Got to get rid of this. Uh... Oh. It's stabbed now. Yeah, so. gotta get rid of this Porygon, because, like, we're really scared of it. We're just gonna see Aura Sphere. <laughs> and, uh, goodbye, Gyarados. So, as you can tell, the Confide is really putting in a lot of work. Why did we have Hammer Arm? Why did we go with <laughs> Because, didn't they have... I thought they had a Trick Room option, did they not? Uh, yeah. But that was such an unsafe play. Why did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Why did we go for him? Or who cares? But we're coming back into Rotom here. And at this point, we realized, hey, they were Light Clay. So they're Light Clay Jolteon, and their screens are still up for a couple more turns, I think. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Very annoying, because we, we can't... Here. Yeah, we can't safely start launching Thunderbolts into that Blastoise right now. We're going to see a Struggle Bug. Struggle Bug and nothing, basically. Yeah, because Struggle Bugging Swampert's going to do nothing. More than I thought, yeah. to be honest. Physical for it this week. Yeah. They attack Rotom, which makes sense. Uh, they, they did that for Rotom, though. And there's our Waterfall. That's going to pick up the Masquerade, no problem. Does that so get rid of that side, or do they gone. still have one in the back? No, that was our last one. That was our last one on that side? Perfect. So Light Screen's gone now, and at this point, we just try to absolutely See? body things. Yep. So I believe we Earthquaked here as well with Swampert, in case they yeah, swapped into no Jolteon. Yeah. If they swap into Jolteon, well, they eat the lightning rod, but then they die to the earthquake, so realistically, yeah. there was no harm, no foul with that move. Yeah. It would have sucked to burn the Z-move like that, but we needed to kill something every turn, and that was kind of what we were getting at. It's still killed. Yeah. True. Light screen. Light screen still there. No, light screen had just ended, Fiona. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Jolteon's going to come back in. And at this point, you, you, like, Earthquake, what's he going to do? Sets up another light screen. HP Grass, obviously. <laughs> HP Grass. I don't even think it kills. Um, it probably would have killed Fiona. It's still base, no, no. It's base 110 special attack. It would have killed. No, it's really bad. I want to calc this now. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. I if, think you need specs. If anybody happens to have a damage calculator open, can you tell me if HP Grass would have killed? Because <laughs> we're not full health, Fiona. Yeah. We're at like 60. That would have killed. Wait, what health are we at? We're at like, oh, we're at 80. Never oh, mind. We're, not, we're gonna live that. No problem. Speaking of grass type moves, <laughs> Energy Ball Energy Jirachi. Ball. Yeah, we can't live that. No, we're definitely not living that. No need to run the calculations on that one. And we're going to miss. So we miss overheat. So this game's actually getting pretty close. Because Jirachi is kind of scary. Yeah. Because Venusaur being our... Or I was going to say... <laughs> Slim Venusaur, Venusaur being our last one. <laughs> AKA the Shaman. You're going to see Doom Desire. <laughs> I still have no clue what this move does. Uh, It's Steel Type Future Sight. Alright then. And we're going to drop some seeds. Pretty so much... Flash Cannon and Doom Desire. I don't yeah. know why they have Doom Desire. It's yeah. not a very good move. So pretty much our plan right now is just kind of lead seed them out and then start pivoting so like we can position and rotate them overheat. If they live it, we can switch it back out still without uh, losing too much damage. 
Yeah, this is the turn that Doom's Desire attacks. Yeah. So we want Rodan to take it because it's four times resistant move since it's steel. Yeah, and we're going to eat a Flash Cannon and a Zoom Desire. That should do absolutely nothing. So wait, what is their set? Energy Ball, Flash Cannon, Doom Desire? And How I don't, do they hit Rodan? I don't think they do. I think <laughs> I think they accepted the fact that like if they have Jirachi versus Rodan, they lose. They need to play around they that. They take the L. Yeah. So what, what are they going to do? Energy Ball. Yeah, they have nothing for Rotom here at this point. So this game's over with just Leech Seeds. But, See, uh, this is why they shouldn't have Poison Jab the, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the Gardevoir. No, I, I definitely think you're right that they shouldn't have Poison Jab the Gardevoir. But at the same time, I think it was an obvious play for them to make. I, I don't know why. I just I felt it was a gut instinct. I don't know why. They always Poison Jab. I feel like if, you would tar if Rotom's, the, Rotom's the bigger threat. Agreed. But, like, I feel like they would read into the fact that we're going to protect or switch out with Rotom because we don't want to take a Stone Edge. So they just go for the Poison Jab. But, uh, yes, we, <laughs> we, do, uh, we do come out on top with that battle. So, moving to 4-0 and and clinching first place. Now, this is kind of scary because it's reminding me of very eerie similarities to the AMBL for anybody who watched that last season. That was really sad. <laughs> yeah, that was sad, but hey. 4-0 right now. Clint first place. One more week to go before playoffs. We'll see you guys back here next week for week five. Thanks for watching.